All right, y'all boys, what is going on, guys? It's your boy Max here with another video. And in today's video, you already know about the title. I'm in my remember car. Um, I'm very late, but we're going to be driving to school for the first time, I guess, on camera. I have drove to school before, but this is the first time y'all seeing it. I already didn't want to be late because if I get one more, I guess, tardy slip, your boy has lunch attention. But it is what it is. Now I have to do the, the hardest task, and that's getting out of where I stay. I guess I just have to get that lunch detention because, hey, man, five minutes late, it's basically the same thing as being 45 minutes late. For some reason, my steering wheel is kind of like making noises, I guess. Like, not like bad, crazy noises, but you can definitely like hear when I Turn the wheel. Listen. You hear that? I think it has to do with me doing this a lot and then going back the other way. Today we have club day. You can see a boy wearing his president shirt. So, I'm comfortable riding with two hands for some reason. I'd rather do two hands than one. When I'm feeling myself playing like little rap music. I guess I'll do two hands. Listen, this car moves. Why is this cool so? I'ma chill out. I really cannot believe I have a freaking Camaro. And like, I'm driving. <laughs> this is crazy. I'm out here living. I really am. It's so quiet and like boring. Making my way downtown. This car moves. This car moves. And definitely got acceleration. I wanted to basically just talk about how, um, well, a lot has happened my whole entire birthday week. For starters, um, I got a scholarship from Bethune Cumming University. $32,000 with that eight k semester or 8,000 a year, 4,000 a semester, which is not really too, too much. Stand drivers. Oh my Try to be nice and just let people go in. Try to let you go. So that's cool. I wasn't going to do Bethune or FAMU's scholarship because I'm just, just a lack of being prepared. And I basically would like post about it and how, you know, I wasn't gonna do it. And a couple people were just encouraging me to just get on my sugar honey iced tea and pretty much, I guess, do it. I still wasn't gonna do it if I was, wasn't prepared because that's just embarrassing. So the day of FAMU scholarship, I actually, well, for starters with band, you need a freaking prepare piece and then you need to know all 12 major skills, even though they only ask you about six. And then, don't do it, sweetheart. And then, a prepare piece, major skills, oh, sight reading, I guess. So your boy was very depressed. Everybody else was just talking about the auditions, audition this, audition that. <sighs> I didn't want to hear none of that. So I woke up the morning, I slept on it, and then I went to search for my old solo, because I know I had it. I just forgot where I put it. Long behold, <laughs> the solo was there. And I, had, I already know the solo off the top of my head, so. That was, that was pretty good, pretty good. All right, now, if you look close. Found the solo, literally the day of, I ain't seen the solo in two years. Practiced it a little bit, cleaned it up, and did it. So there's that, what else happened? $32,000 scholarship. I turned 18, and got a car. Your boy's in a Camaro, driving real nice, real tasty, real good. Got a job on my lifeguard now, which is just the coolest sugar honey iced tea thing ever. Come on, dude, I've been waiting in this life for 45 minutes. My biggest thing with the whole lifeguard thing is that my hair. If I do have to save somebody, I'm not gonna put my hair over my, over somebody else's life, you feel me? So I will have to jump in type B. I'm gonna put my car in park. This don't make no sense. 
Oh, I got my license. So let me tell you the story behind that. I didn't have my license when I got this car, which is February 15th, February 15th, February 25th. I didn't have my license when I got the car. I only have a permit. So obviously I was panicking because my mother was like, oh, she's not gonna let me drive this car until I get my license. She pretty much wanted me to drive her truck. Like that was, wasn't gonna happen. Mm -mm. So I went and scheduled the thing. They said you could only schedule it 60 days in advance. So what I did was just that. Come on, we still not moving? My driver's test would have been April 29th. Prom would have been April 9th. So that just wasn't gonna work. By the grace of God and the goodness of the Lord, um, somebody canceled for March or yesterday, I guess. My mom, I don't think my mom thought I was gonna pass, but it was cake. We moved a little bit, right? When I was trying to put my money in my wallet, they want to start moving, but I ain't complaining. It looked like we got traffic control or something. It looked like it must have been a crash or something. I don't know. Bruh, I gotta keep stopping my freaking music for this camera, but I'm finally moving. Go way to beautiful girl. Damn all these beautiful girls. Yesterday I did go to a neighborhood that nobody was really in. Got this long strip and I tested out just a little bit and a cop turned on the street and it was behind me for a good little minute. Then I made that one little left and he kept going. I was like, whoa, I almost had a heart attack. So let's talk about my mom. She was, our birthday's on the same day. And yesterday somebody had asked me, well, what did your mom do? And I really just, just sat there and thought like, wow, she really did nothing. So now that I've started working, I'm gonna try to do something nice for her one day. Cause she deserves it. But, um, so she brought me the car, right? And I got my license yesterday. I'm 18, you know, pretty much a young man. She pretty much um, gave me these lists of rules now that I have a car. She said, no people in the car. She said, don't speed. She said, um, no texting. Um, she said music was a distraction but I'm gonna still listen to music. I don't think she was telling me not to, but she told me it was a distraction. She pretty much said I need over 50 to 100 hours of practice time or something. Like, I got home after work and I parked my car across the street um, in a little parking lot to record um, my car tour video. Like, I, the I Got A Car video. That should be up before this one, so go watch that one. I did that and my sister, I guess, dropped her off home and I already knew like, let me just go over there. Cause I was planning on, I was already like finna make the turn to pull in. But I guess they didn't see my car. And as I pull up, my sister was like, um, she was just talking trash. Um, she was about to take your privileges away. Cause I, it was like eight o'clock or something. And she thought I wasn't home. Since when do I have a curfew? Now that I have a car, why does that change? If anything, you should be feel more safe. Mm. Well, I understand that aspect, but. Cause I have a car, now it's like eight o'clock or something. No, so basically I can't go anywhere besides school, work, and that's it. <laughs> she told me all of these rules the day I got my license and it just, I didn't tell her this, but it just took my joint all the way. And forgot I even had a license that day. So by the time we done practicing or these restrictions are lifted, I'll be in, hopefully, Tallahassee. Uh, I, ain't gonna, I ain't gonna speak too much on that. It is what it is, man. Y'all know me. If you know me, you know my answer to those. Uh, the car behind me just ran a red light. <laughs> Cause you know you was behind that line when the light turned red. All right, so I started to ask my mom for a Dodge. The Challengers, I guess that's what they call. And somebody had told my mom, 
one thing, literally, like one thing. And it was just a no. She told him that they have her parent called issues a lot or something. I know he did want to dodge. I just wasn't expecting to get a freaking Camaro. And one like this. This is not one of the latest ones. Y'all know me. I like all the latest stuff. This is not one of the latest, like, 2018 or 2019, 2020. So on. Um, it's a 16, 15, one of those. And it's still fine to me. My mom brought me these cup order things, but I'm not going to use them because of the way they have to be plugged up. I just think it just looks ugly. Um, should probably go this way. Yeah. Yeah. I could have took the long way, actually, but sometimes I'll be feeling like I'm mashing the gas and I'm just going nowhere. Y'all can't tell me nothing. Y'all can't tell me nothing. I'm really in the car, like, not breathing very well. <laughs> I'm gonna show out a little bit. <laughs> that is so funny. <laughs> okay, I'm at school now. I'm gonna make this right into the school. I'm gonna check in with the man that I'm a part. Oh, he's not here today. Yes. He's not here. Oh, he is here. I don't know exactly where I'm gonna park. The day before I brought my Camaro to school, somebody else had one. And now that I have my car, I can't seem to find them. I'm gonna be extra and have my car showing to everybody and park in the dead center lane. Be real extra. Cause why not? Mr. the freaking PBL, right? The face of this school, why not have my car be the face? Um, why not wanna park? You can do this one. Okay, backup camera. You working a little bit. <sighs> Finally at school. The time is now 8.14. I think I left around like 7.20. I don't know. I'm late though, so I do need to get out. Let me sit the car straight first of all. All right though, um, if y'all enjoyed this video and want more, I guess, drive with me videos i will do it um give me some topics to talk about and i will i kind of was just rambling it's my first one so didn't really know too much of what to say so yeah if y'all want more videos make sure you leave a like and subscribe and hit that bell notification down below to be notified when i post a new video and comment what y'all want me to talk about or what y'all want me to do when it comes down to my car